Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. Today is going to be a super fun read on just dragon fun and all the messages that Spirit wants to bring to you. And I love all of these cards because I feel like they really do have immensely beautiful messages that are helpful. So here's our choices today, you guys. Number one is Rainbow Dragon. Number two is Earth and Water Dragon. Number three is Black Dragon from Saturn. And I hope you guys set all your intentions for the new moon and you're feeling good. I feel really, Chris, so many, no kidding, so many people were DMing me and messaging me of these heroin experiences. I mean, all of a sudden, there are a lot of people's lives just feel like they caved in. They had all this heavy energy. And I feel like any a lot of things that were bad or misaligned that could have happened last week to quite a few beautiful people had happen and now today they just feel like they are restored and 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 have this new energy to work towards and rebalance i feel like this as well i almost get a little bit panicky or higher anxiety right before a new moon because my body is saying you don't need this you don't need this this is excess let's be rid of this let's let go let's get lighter right and now this energy is refreshed and renewed. Like I'm definitely ready in every regard to do next best things for me. Like today, I totally have planned to go to the ocean and just walk along the ocean and also go to this little beautiful mini forest. And I'd love to film it for you guys. And um, I will put it before this video because this video is gonna air tomorrow. Now, of just these little adventures I decided to do for myself for my well-being because at the end of the day I asked myself my question was today time well spent and I know like everybody else we have windows of time where we have optimal energy right sometimes it's intellectual energy sometimes it's creative energy sometimes it's nature energy and after like six hours of operating on full tilt there are different types of energies that's available when I'm out in nature it's restorative when I'm in a mall or I'm in somewhere where I have to make purchases, my energy gets drained very quickly by other people. That's not my arena that I operate well in. And I had to do that yesterday to, to get some things. And I was like, well, I felt like I was for a loop. So I was like, today it is nature, girl. It is baby nature time. Let's get out there. And we're definitely going to do that. So let's start with number one, rainbow dragon. Right away, rainbow dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors. When we look for optimism, when we look for options, when we look for opportunities, guess what? They show up because our little peepers are focused on that the green green grass the blue blue sky let's do this have trust recover rediscover wisdom expect miracles accept opportunities a hundred percent i do this nightly when i'm looking through pinterest i look under everything i look under you know all these beautiful artists i look under animals i look under um nature reserves everything that expands and makes me feel good and like the world is wider and there's more opportunities and i get ideas i get amazing ideas where i want to travel um some pieces i want to make custom pieces of jewelry crystals i want to get all these things and i get inspired and that is definitely what's going to happen for you in a big way so let's pull you three baby dragons these are so great and a beautiful, beautiful soul. Kim, Kimberly P. sent the, these to me and I used them the other day, garden dragons. And the dragons are made out of the fruits or vegetables that the dragon is named after. And they're so sweet. And I love the messages as well pepper dragon versatile yes remember you do have versatility in your life you are not a one trick pony where you wake up you eat food you do this you go there you go to bed and 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 you're on this kind of like same old same old you need to diversify and have versatility in your life and do things and try different things as well oftentimes i'm blown away by the fact that i'll see something on tv and i'm like why have i never tried that and i would either have had some weird notion about it oh it's of great expense it's this and that it's complicated and i would try and be like holy crap this is the greatest thing ever i love it you know i i definitely had that idea years and years ago when i started my jewelry i'm like oh my god silversmithing and all this i'm like it's gonna take all this stuff what if this happens you'll burn your skin all, all this so on and i gave myself all this kind of like gravitas like it was going to be so impossible to be able to do these things and then when i started i was like start small hello get a piece of wire and put some beads on it and see if you like it right that's try with this versatility i feel like you're going to be really flexing your muscles and doing some great things and the universe is going to have your back banana dragon gather yeah gather your strength gather your focus and then set the intention and go for it whatever it is you are going to be able to do this and gather like-minded people go on instagram in different areas where people that are doing things that you are also interested in because they buoy us they they redirect us they get us excited about things we get um like reinitiated into that 
helpful, hopeful energy, right? Nothing like a group to inspire us to do things. That's what I love about YouTube and Instagram and all those places where spiritually minded, like-minded kindred spirits, they get me excited for things. I listen to my favorite listeners when I first wake up and then I'm excited about doing reads. I'm excited about life, my vocation. I get completely stoked hundred percent. Then I watch nature videos that get me excited to go out into nature and go to the beach, to the forest, so on and so forth artichoke dragon guarded this is saying too that let your guard down if you feel like so many people are trying to get to know you it's like just because we say hello and might spend a little bit of time with somebody doesn't mean we're engaged to them or they're our best friend we but we should be guarded within our um information that we share we should always have a little bit of mystery about ourselves and definitely not be um giving up too much personal information that anybody could later use against us in something, right? Fears, phobias, whatever. And again, we want to always be able to look somebody square in the eye and know we're, we're on the up and up and that we haven't, um, another thing, like, I feel like people that are facetious or mean, they like to gossip because they like to draw other people into gossip and then have something on, on that person that gossiped with them. It's a, it's a really tangled web. So being guarded around people like that and no, and feel the people you can trust and share with for sure. And let's pull your one beautiful card. Out with the old and in with the new. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truths. Absolutely. Sometimes we set on a path and, you know, we just think, oh, I'll stick it through to the bitter end. We don't have to. We don't have to be devoted or focused on things that we don't absolutely love and adore. So drop that. People, places, and things that are not fulfilling and satisfying you right now, boom, out that proverbial window. Give it a boot to the butt and say, you know what? My time is valuable. I should be spending it doing things that I love and that excite me. And you're going to turn in that direction and you're going to see that bountiful fruit that comes in and how good you feel and the energy change that happens with that. Versatility takes place. Um, joy takes place. Uplifting takes place. And you're just going to feel like a new person, refreshed and replenished because you deserve things in your life that bring you fulfillment. So that is your messages, group one, beautiful energy. Yeah, a new path, a new day, and a new way for you, for sure. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe, and all my links are down below. If you need a private read, I get back to you within 48 hours with that. Come see me on Instagram. I do daily posts and memes and tarot-inspired crystal inspired things and I also have weekly giveaways with free jewelry goddess provisions box reads all of that stuff because I like that's that's a really good format and a place to be able to give back so that is you guys beautiful energy okay you guys now we're on to number two I'm gonna have a quick sip of water it's funny how quickly I got inspired to do this too because I'll tell you when I woke up I was like oh you know I was like really inspired to do things in a more vibrant and awake method. Usually I sleep in a little late on days and I meander and I'm like, I'm getting right up. I'm getting right in the shower. I'm going to choose all my decks. And I was excited. And now I have this beautiful like propulsion and energy behind me just because I decided it's as simple as that. We decide we glide, right? Okay. Earth. And I think I'm going to make that a book title. Once we decide we begin to glide. That sounds pretty good, right? Okay, Earth and Water Dragon creates the foundation for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. 100%, you guys. I'm going to pull one of these cards too because I want to know what's going on. Ace of Action. This cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. And if you've been procrastinating, it's time to get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. A hundred percent. I feel like you're laying the foundation. Just trust in it. Trust in your gifts. Trust in your abilities, your capabilities, and move forward. Even little tiny steps bring us up that mountain. Bring us further down that path. I had to do this. I just decided my plan B is not to F up my plan A, that I'm just going to keep going. I don't expect immediate results. I don't expect immediate applause and abundance, and I'm going to keep going. And through that tenaciousness and belief in myself and loving also what I do, started to just gain momentum. And then I became more and more successful in my endeavors. And you're going to be as well. So I feel like you are laying the foundation for this too. You're dropping stuff that distracts you and just doesn't help you in that regard. You want to feel the sun. You want to feel the warmth. You want to feel like you have breadth and width and options everywhere. And you're going to get that. 
So create the foundation, wake up early, eat healthy, um, whatever patterns that you've established that just don't behoove you and help you move forward, whether it's overeating, procrastination, doubt, um, wasting time, um, idling time away, you know, with worry or whatever, just drop it. Say out loud, this isn't helping me in my new foundation. I am going to do this. I'm going to take a walk in nature. I'm going to have some fresh fruit. I am going to constantly feel like I have gratitude and abundance around me so I can garner more of that because what we think and focus on is what we attract, right? You're going for it. Watermelon dragon success. You are due some major successes coming your way. You feel it. I feel like a lot of you guys are so yearning to start your own business and go your own way and, um, start YouTube channels, Etsy stores, shops, all of these things. Go for it. Have confidence in your abilities and stay focused on all the positive, how you can win, why you deserve this, how your life will have value with this in it. Because I've got to say the steps I took once I became self-employed, I feel like a different person. I feel like my life has a whole different kind of um, dimension to it. I wake up peaceful. I don't have to be anywhere at any given time. I'm not at the mercy of people that might be in a bad mood or withholding either my money or my schedule or whatever. I'm just not part of that anymore. I took my power of my life into my own hands saying, well, I'm busy making other people's dreams come true. While I was doing some backbreaking crazy work for other people, I wasn't having time or energy left for my dreams. So ask yourself that. How can I start to feel the success of who I am and what I'm trying to create? Support. You will have support in this little potato dragon. Look at him. You'll have support and support your dreams with really wonderful, positive thinking too. And pull in people that will cheer you on and make you feel good. And don't ask for help or support from people that you know that aren't. Oftentimes people that haven't achieved or want to achieve what we want to achieve are going to be much less supportive just because they will have some envy maybe in their heart or they're just unable to. They don't have that kind of directive that we have to go for it. And because of that, they might create um, doubt or block. So people... People that have more than us often want us to have more. People that have less than us often want us to have less, right? It's just the way of things. When we feel abundant and we feel success coming in, we'll feel the support of the universe too. That's also divine support as well, you guys. So fertile, fertile ground is ahead and also for some of you guys trying to conceive as well. It's a good time to conceive over the next few months, as well as ideas. It's a real fertile ground. Cast a very wide net. Know you have tons of options. No, pretend like you're moving water, just picking up all these beautiful um, branches and leaves and fish and eggs and everything just coming down the stream with you. You're absorbing, 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 so you can then create and mushroom out in the direction that you want. You know, I feel like you're going to be a really formidable person in business like you just are ready for this and you feel it and you're excited and constantly feed your dreams with best case scenario this is going to be amazing this is going to happen for me and I deserve it and it will group too so beautiful yeah success 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 just keep writing that word down because it is coming for you. Okay, you guys, that is you. And I also feel like water symb watermelon symbology is going to be in your kind of like in your scope. You're going to see that a lot. You're going to see pictures of watermelons and, and be thinking about it. There's something in that as well. So I love that for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. These are the cutest. I can't even take it. My name is Melanie and thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I was just reading everyone's comments last night and I was just so just filled with love and um, gratitude for all of you guys. So hopefully I'm going to be able to respond to all of those tonight. I can speed read through them, but it does take a while to respond to them. So again, you guys come see me on Instagram so you can get in on all the giveaways. I do daily to posts and memes and giveaways for jewelry, goddess provisions box, free reads, everything. And I've, there's so many beautiful kindred spirits over there. I love it. And thank you guys for supporting my Etsy shop and all my handcrafted goodies. Um, please go to IG. I have a major, major sale on um, the Rainbow Aura Quartz um, wire wrapped amulets. They're like really, really at a big discount. And I put them under the new moon in black salt and supercharge them as well. Because every once in a while when I, I'm inspired to create a whole bunch of pieces and I like to have an IG sale for them. So come check that out as well. And they're great for everything. For kids are so attracted to the stone because it's like a unicorn stone. It's a bunch of mixed, beautiful rainbow colors. 
Ace of action, you guys, going for it, beautiful. So now we're on to group three, which is black dragon from Saturn, I love this. So you're gonna have this wisdom through spiritual discipline, and I need to do this for myself. I ask my archangels and angels for guidance and help. What is the next best thing I can do spiritually, mentally, physically for myself to lift myself? It really helped me this morning because oftentimes it's like uh, if I roll over and I'm really comfortable, I'm like, just sleep more, just sleep more. But I don't like to sleep too late because then I feel heavy and overtired. So I was like, I just asked, I said, please help lift me so I can get in the shower really early and I can get a lot accomplished and feel really good and have time for nature and readings and everything and not feel rushed and be able to provide my family with some fun stuff and all of that and I that happened for me because of that and that's part of spiritual discipline doing the next best thing for ourselves our families the collective right concentrate focus on your ultimate vision congratulate yourself you you're you've passed a test you are here you have wants and needs and desires and when you focus on them you're going to bring them and you have aspirations you, you want things to come into your life and it's not for greedy um reasons it's because you want to grow and expand and have options and learn right so let's see what's coming in helper of thought your life is about to start moving very fast events that seem to be on hold suddenly require your attention no time to sit and ponder you've got to get moving review the details as best you can you know will meet or someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasps what you do this person is both confident and courageous so you will be meeting somebody that comes in and will help you in your endeavors I feel like this is a business opportunity for some of you guys you'll get this really great idea and write it down and then all of a sudden you're like you know what? I feel the compulsion to act on this I want to get details in place I want to start to do this I did this for myself in terms of going to England and Stonehenge as soon as Ian started mentioning it I started getting the these kind of like tingles and pokes and nudges and I was like do it, do it now. It's so easy to talk yourself out of it, overcomplicate it and any of that. So just say yes and set things in motion. And it was, and we were all booked in, locked and loaded and ready within 48 hours with a place to stay, all these things, everything ready, flights, etc. So this is just jumping on board when we know something feels right, okay? And I feel like you're gonna get these nudges, follow them. Whether it's to say yes to a business opportunity, going on a date with somebody, um, moving in a new direction, wanting to buy a house, jump on that because there are cues and clues that are being sent to you by a kind of divine order and it is your time. This is not to say panic or feel rushed or like you have all these obligations. This is for you. This is for something that's going to have you have a breakthrough and be awesome. Health, you're going to have beautiful increased health. This is also saying though, look after your health by plenty of rest, plenty of hydration, doing the best next thing constantly in your diet. I mean, I, for one, I know with teenagers and they love junk food. So every once in a while I'm going through drive throughs and I'm like, Ooh, I want that. I never feel great after I eat that stuff. And I know it doesn't help me. So I really try to resist. Yeah. I feel great when I have quinoa, when I have sushi, when I have things that come out of the earth or grow on trees, nuts, vegetables. I feel fantastic. So really reach for that and look after your house. Some of you guys, I feel like this is a kind of warning saying make yourself feel better if you have doubts get that mammogram get get whatever is ailing you that tinge that tweak that is bothering you looked after some of you guys i'm feeling like arthritic or like that kind of um carpal tunnel kind of feeling in my hand so some of you guys are wondering about that go have it just looked at so you can you know allay your fears and not get grandiose in your head about what is happening because I've done that um like I've gotten a tweak somewhere and I sit in weird positions all the time doing readings and I'm like ah, I'm like I don't want to give myself sciatica or whatever you know I start to um self-diagnose with crazy things so go have it looked at too if you think that there is a problem somewhere okay pumpkin dragon is saying mystery some mystery is going to um take place in your life like a fun mystery like all of a sudden somebody or something is going to come in and you really want to figure it out figure them out figure out what's going on and that's the beautiful thing about life we don't want to know everything if we knew everything it'd be boring so i also feel like in terms of you too you are a mystery to some people too i feel like through um instagram and other places people are checking you out and they want to understand unfold the mystery of you as well that you have some secret admirers so that is taking place for a lot of you and a lot of you guys you are going to unlock a certain mystery that has been really really tugging at you like what is this why do i feel like this way what is happening and all of a sudden boom you'll know your path you'll know why you're being pulled in that direction and it's a good reason as well 
raspberry dragon kindness you have a lot of people that are going to come into your sphere kindred spirits that are going to show you kindness love and camaraderie your true kindreds are coming in your companions your soul companions and people that are meant to help you guide you and make you feel good about yourself and the reason this is happening is you are re you are reaching um, a better state of reasoning and higher vibration and higher frequency where you know what's good for you you know what's helpful you know what's going to help you the most and you're not giving up and throwing in the towel you're moving towards a hundred percent i'm doing this for myself i feel it it's real i want to go in that direction let's go and you're just getting on that you know like a carrier pigeon with a note to the universe i want a b and c i want to rekindle this um connection with my family with someone that I was having arguments with. I want to go on a more soulful approach to things where I'm not thinking I have all this ineptitude and I, I'm unqualified. I want to go, yes, I have confidence. Everybody basically is unqualified until they're qualified. So how do we become qualified? We try. So that's what you're going to do and be like, wow, I am naturally gifted in this. And you're going to be like, woo, you know, kindness to self and knowing that you have what it takes. Good inner dialogue is what's going to get you to your next step. You deserve it. You deserve love. You deserve to be on the path that makes you feel good and satisfied with life and you're going to take really determined steps towards that and end up in a place that you never thought possible group three i really feel like this is a group that is going to have breakthrough extraordinaire and you deserve it because you're a beautiful entity of light and love and now you know that so you're working towards pulling in energy of other people places and things that facilitate that need to be this beautiful shining star that you are and you're deserving of this so i love this energy for you group three if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read or anything else everything is down there for you so i appreciate all your support for you guys you need private reads i get back to you within 48 hours thank you for all your great feedback i have to say i've only received fantastic wonderful like feedback from private um reads and i continually do um new reads for people that I've done for over and over and over as well, which I really appreciate. So thank you guys for that feedback. I really appreciate it. And come on over to IG and get in on all the giveaways. I do um, free reads. I do free jewelry. I do free goddess provisions box. I like to give back over and that's a great venue and um, place to be able to do that. And I do daily posts and memes and all of that. So I hope, I hope your grass is the greenest it possibly can be because you deserve this time of life is happy times. I feel it. So love and light to you.